well, hello there. I just want to talk about the RNLI. Now, they seem to be a ferry service now for illegal immigrants crossing the channel on tiny boats. What, uh, what gets me is that a haulage company has recently been fined £66,000 because they managed to get six stowaways on board. That's £11,000 per stowaway that they had on their lorry. They didn't do that deliberately. It was the, the, the illegals forced themselves on that lorry, hid themselves away so they couldn't be seen or, or detected by any way. But when they got across the other side of the channel, back to England, Border, border Patrol found them on the vehicle and charged the owner of that vehicle £66,000. Now, the RNLI go all the way across the channel into French territory to pick up these migrants and then they bring them back. Now, these migrants won't have radios on, back, on their boats and mobile phone signal at sea isn't the best. Quite often I can't get a signal and I'm slightly higher than sea level. I might be a few metres up in my cabin and I can't get a phone signal as I'm going through Dover. So how can these migrants make a phone call to the UK to say that they're in, in distress? I think that, that there's some organisation that is contacting the British Coast Guard to say that these people have, have put themselves in distress and need rescuing. So, but why don't the French Coast Guard pick up these migrants and take them back to shore? Surely it is further to go from French territory back into the British ter territory and, and dump them at Dover. Now I've seen them come in at Dover, I've seen them come in by the boatload and they're mostly males and uh, I have seen one female but she wasn't allowed to wear a life jacket. Uh, as we've seen they, they come off the boat and it's only the men that are wearing the life jackets and the females aren't which is another thing that's quite disturbing. So why the big question is why isn't the RNLI being charged £1,100 per migrant that they bring into the UK? That's what I want to know. Why are we allowing the RNLI to act as a taxi service for these illegals? France isn't in a war zone. France isn't at war with anybody. France is, a, is at peace at the moment and the only war that I see going on is is amongst the illegals themselves. So why are we taking in so many of these refugees, so-called refugees, or as I like to call them, economic migrants, why are we taking in so many? It, it just beggars belief. According to uh, a news channel that I watched uh, yesterday, there was <coughs> 514 illegals across the channel yesterday. 500 a day. We can't keep this rate up, we cannot keep this rate up and certainly if we were going to export this many people to Rwanda, would Rwanda be happy taking in 500 illegals every day? Uh, I don't think so either. Uh, anyway, like a lot of you, we all see common sense and we all understand that these migrants are not refugees, they are actually economic migrants and they're out for every penny they can get. Anyway, that's enough of that. I'll see you later on the next one. Bye then.